action. Hey everyone, what's up? Brad Hussey here from CodeCollege.ca and welcome to CSS3 in 30 days. We're gonna build 30 things in 30 days with CSS3. We're gonna throw some HTML5 and stuff in there, but mainly this is all about CSS3. This video is all about explaining to you how this course works, if you really wanna call this a course. It's more like a challenge. Anyway, we're gonna explain how it works, what you can expect, what you're gonna learn over the next 30 days. But first, let's jump into the how this works and what you can expect right out the gate. Let's do it. All right, so this is what you're gonna see. What you're gonna get each and every day, you're gonna get a new um, video. You're gonna get a new video and you're gonna get a new set of course files. So each day looks like this. This is the entire course files over the entire 30 days. We're gonna be building some really cool things from simple fancy buttons, and I'll show you those in a second here, typography. We're gonna be doing things like image manipulation. We're gonna make an, a Mario, a Super Mario, that's cool. We're gonna make some modern layouts. We're gonna do some uh, CSS variables. Who knew about that? What? Sticky footers, sticky headers, Pac-Man. We're gonna make a little Pac-Man, that's cool. Tool tips, progress bars, loader spinners, flex box layouts. We're gonna do things from 3D nav bars, sliding panels, more 3D stuff, drop down menus, 3D cubes, depth of field, and a CSS3 coffee cup to finish it off. That's awesome. So, we're gonna be doing this. You might look at this and be like, bah, this is a lot of work. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Or this is gonna take a lot of time. This is why I spread it out over 30 days. Each day, we build one thing. Why are we building things instead of learning about theory? Because, well, people don't tend to uh, grasp uh, if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that, that doesn't make sense at all. People tend to have a hard time taking theory and applying it to the real world. What I want you to do is just build things. That's the way you learn stuff. If you're learning a language, you just speak the language to people and sound like a total idiot until you figure it out. When you're building things, you're going to build some really, really bad <laughs> But as you get, as you go, you get better, you challenge yourself and you're able to make things and then you could start pulling from actual experience. So that's why we wanna build 30 things in 30 days. This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get day one, you get fancy buttons. For example, it's gonna be, it's gonna be titled one dash fancy buttons. The course files will look a little something like this. Fancy buttons, you get the index.html file. This is all done for you. You don't need to really write any HTML. I've already put all that in there for you because this is about CSS3, remember? Everything's hooked up for you and it's just HTML. So you can refer to that if you want, it's there for you. There's a, a file called final.css and that final CSS file is the, the final CSS for the entire uh, project for that day. So you can go through, use it as your reference point if you're stuck on something or if something's not working. I get a lot of questions from students when they're, they're hung up on a certain particular part of one of these videos they can go back, look at the final.css and solve the problems. So that's right there for your reference. And there's a file called sandbox.css. This is what you're gonna concern yourself the most with because this is where you're gonna code your CSS to create the final, uh, the final product, the final result that we're going for. Now let me show you what each page looks like that you get. So day one, this is the layout of each of the days, each lesson for each day. So day one, CSS3 fancy buttons. This is called the sandbox, and this is where you play. This is where we're going to be creating the thing that we're gonna make. This is what you're gonna to use to create, and I'm gonna be using this as well in these videos to manipulate you know, the examples here to create the final result. Now, what's the final result? Now, I'm gonna scroll down. We got the final result. Use this for reference, for visual reference. So this, the final.css file I just showed you, this, is the CSS for that specific box right here. So you can see the different style buttons in day one, for example, the different types of buttons and the different things, you know, that's all in the final.css. So we're gonna mimic this, we're gonna replicate this by coding CSS3 in our sandbox. And so that's how you're gonna follow along. We're gonna open up a video, I'm gonna say, hey, what's up, Brad Hussey from CSS3 in 30 days. Let's do this, day one, day two, whatever. And we're gonna jump into the sandbox. I'm gonna show you the final result, what we're gonna build and we're gonna code along, just like that. And then you're gonna learn some CSS3 by building real things. Thanks for watching this video. Let's do this and let's get started with day one of CSS3 in 30 days.